Bear Bones Living. Bare Bones Living features Amanda and her family of five who bounced out of Chicago and moved up to Beverly. Well, more like Tennessee, but, but it doesn't quite have the same and ring to it. Welcome to the beginning of my food forest. So excited. Then put down the cardboard to try to help with um, weed per like that and then covered it over with a little bit more the homestead channel bare bones living is very active in the youtube homesteading and gardening community challenges and their community posts are a great place to see um like channels featured there are also live streams bare bones living shows a mix of homesteading activities focusing mainly on what to do with the various types of projects and harvest that they have is everyone going to be nice today it. are we all going to get along can we not make this a Hunger Games situation, please? What does she say? May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> and you will never not know what's for dinner. <laughs> Bare Bones Living is a homestead cooking machine. There's some neat techniques. But, uh, y'all don't paddle your, your chicken. <laughs> and I didn't notice. Coming from the garden means there is a garden. I and there are lots of fun garden guy. tours uploaded regularly. From making DIY home and living products like laundry soap to food preservation, Bare Bones Living is showing that stepping out into homesteading doesn't have to be scary or weird, even when you have small children. So, check them out. Butter Roll Boutique. Doretha's channel is a beginning crafter's dream. Thank you for your support, Goodies Homestead. I got this from them because I want it. Actually, I was on her live uh, one day. Butter Roll Boutique has only been on YouTube around six months, and she has filled the channel with a myriad of craft store tours, craft supply, shopping hauls, and of course, you know, all sorts of crafting videos, including crafting challenges. I am coming to you today because I submit my video entry to the Seasonal Yarny YouTube Hop 2023 by, it, and this is the spring edition, and it was hosted by the Crafty Nomad. And I know that this was last year when I got this from, from uh, Hobby Lobby, so. There's crocheting and knitting with some great tips and tricks. I basically say, go with the one that feels good in your hands. Say what now? The first thing you will need is a hook. I basically say go with the one that feels good in your hands. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> she also crochets dolls and she shares her love for adult coloring books. Doretha uploads some of her DIYs as shorts, so she fits a lot of neat information in a small amount of time. And like I said, I put six in a magic ring. If you can catch one of the live streams on Butter Roll Boutique, the chats are filled with a lot of other interesting crafters and hobby havers. This woman has no talent. Big, you don't gotta shout it out right in front of her. If you aren't into crafting, Butter Roll Boutique shares other aspects of her life also. So don't let your twiddle thumbs keep you from checking her out. Hardnack Farms. Wendy's sharing homestead life in Oklahoma, the land of tarantulas, copperheads, and butterfly gardens. Well, at least one. I thought I would let it go in the greenhouse where there's a bunch of nectar food and then transition it out into the open after this wind calms down. Come on. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> it's not wanting to go with me. There's lots of foraging and helping Mother Nature out also. This is Wendy Hardnack at Hardnack Farms. Then we just take the morel mushrooms, harvest them, we put them in a Ziploc bag with some water, seal the bag, shake it real good to clean it. Pour that dirty water into like a bucket or a bag like this. Repeat. Hardnack Farms has really worked hard at getting their geothermal greenhouse going. <laughs> I was about to say off the ground, but <laughs> that's not really the purpose of it. But it's definitely paying off for them. The channel has 
a strong focus on easy to make self sustainable homestead projects. Hardneck Farms is a very unassuming channel and some may tend to overlook it because of the simple approach to video making. Wendy will Wendy will just be walking along doing homestead chores or whatever and then blurt out the secret to life and just keep on doing whatever it was she was doing in the video. My basil. But it's just kind of pathetic. I'm losing all the tomato plants in the greenhouse. I have not got one tomato out of this garden. The large garden is mostly containers and raised beds. They are having a time over there at Hartnack Farms. Would you like to join them? Check them out. Chicago Transplants to the Tennessee Homestead Dream. The Delightful Crafter with Creativity Bursting at the Seams. The Oklahoma Project Setters, a husband and wife team. Are these your people?